Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will use the analog output channel of NIUSB 6009 and we will use this variable voltage output to control the intensity of LED light. This is a simple breadboard. The vertical pins on this breadboard are short with each other. It means they will be at the same potential and these horizontal pins are also short with each other which are labeled as A, B, C, D and E. This board is used to simulate electric circuits. This is a simple LED which has two legs. The longer leg is used to supply the voltage whereas the shorter leg is the ground of this LED. Now we will attach this LED to the breadboard. Longer leg to the positive slot and shorter leg on the negative slot of the breadboard. Next step is to connect the wires to the data acquisition card. We will use analog output 1 channel in this video. We will connect the black wire to the ground terminal of the DAC card and red wire to the analog output 1 channel of the DAC card. Now I will tie the screws so that the wires can be strongly held in the deck card. Now I will put the black wire to the negative terminal of the LED and red wire to the positive terminal of the LED. Then we have to connect the deck card with the computer system and do the required programming in lab view. You will go to the block diagram, right click, go to the express category and then input and drag the DAG assistant on the block diagram. You will select the generate signal, analog output, then voltage and select the analog output one channel and then click finish button. We will use the default settings. In the front panel, we will drop horizontal slider and enlarge in this slider so that we can easily control the voltage output. So now I will connect this slider to the input of DAC assistant. In order to run the program continuously, we will use the while loop with a control. So when I move the slider towards the 5 volt, what will happen? The LED will switch on with higher intensity and when I move the slider to the left, the LED will dim.